is finding a loving relationship on your mind have you been disappointed in your search over the years of trying to find a loving person to be in a relationship with while it may seem like discovering the type of relationship you long for is beyond your reach rest assured it is not impossible so stay tuned in this episode i'm going to be talking about some few important tips to help you find the loving relationship that you need. So here we go. I'm going to be sharing four tips today. So the first one is be true to yourself. I mean, this is important. This is very, very important for you to find the loving relationship your heart desires, your heart longs for. You should never settle for someone who you're not happy with because one day you wake up and go, I wasted my time with this person. I shouldn't have been in the relationship with this person. I shouldn't have even got married to this person. So honestly, the foundation of what I'm about to share is be true to yourself. And by the way, these tips also apply to your everyday life. So, and even like when you're married, these also apply. So be true to yourself is number one. And number two is know your own needs. So if you're really true to yourself, you're going to know what your needs are. You're going to know who you are. You're going to know what you want out of life and what you absolutely don't want. So when you're looking for a long-term relationship, the first thing you need to do is to clarify your own needs. After all, if you don't know what you want, how will you recognize it when you find it? And this also you know, helps you as you go on dates to identify that person that you might have been set up on a blind date with or that you might have found online, or maybe somebody hooked you up. So if you know your needs, it will help you absolutely identify who that person is that you should be with. So many people go out looking for relationships with no clue what they really want. And when you're able to figure out your own desires and know who you truly are, then you're much more likely to find someone who fulfills those desires, those needs, those wants. So be true to yourself first and then know your needs. And then third, be firm with your values. Do you know what your values are? It is essential to stand up for your values that you find important. If your love interest is completely different core values, then you're not going to be able to make it work. I mean, we're talking about values like your religious values, your political values, or whatever other values that are important to you. And you can still have a relationship with someone who you disagree with on some issues, yeah, those fine foundational values that you hold near and dear to your heart should be shared because that will be a relationship breaker if you're completely on the opposite ends of any spectrum of your core values. So on to the last one, identify your goals. So what are your goals? Where do you plan to be in two, four, six eight, even 10 years from now, you know, we're talking about, um, you know, where do you, where do you want to be geographically in terms of leaving, in terms of your career, in terms of your family? Do you want to have kids? Does he want to have kids? Do you know what you want? So it's important that you find someone with similar goals or you're both going to be headed in different directions. And um, you want to come closer together as your relationship grows, not to be torn apart by these wildly dif- you know, differing goals. So figure out, do you want kids? What are your career aspirations? 
What do you want in a family? Do you, are you looking for a partner just to be with? Or are you looking for someone to then start a family with? I can share an example on this one on my own where I was married and then, you know, he didn't want to have kids and I did. And that was essentially the straw that broke the camel's back in our relationship. And we ended up separating and divorcing because I had not identified my goals. And actually I can go back to even not being true to myself, not knowing my own needs, and then also not being firm on my values. And now not, I wasn't able to identify my goals. And when it came down to it, it is why our relationship ended up um, ending. So know your goals, identify what those goals are. And you'll be able to, Talk about some of these things when you're on a date where you can share with this potential partner what your goals are, and then you can see if they're in alignment with what you want. And honestly, these are only four quick tips that I wanted to share with you, because to me, I want to hear stories from you that tell me that you found the love, the relationship that you want. And if you're already in a relationship, I want you to tell me that some of these things are strengthening your relationship. And, you know, just because this is just going to help you get better. So, um, again, those are just four quick tips to help you. But now I want to do a self-reflection type exercise with you where I want you to feel confident in that you will find your soulmate. And I want you to feel confident that you will strengthen your relationship that you already are in. And I want you to repeat after me. I am confident that I can find my soulmate. I am confident that I can find my soulmate. I mean, after all, this planet is filled with many beings, and I know my soulmate is one of them. It may take a little time, but I'm sure I will find the one that is meant for me. I have the necessary patience to avoid settling for the wrong person. I have the self-control and resilience to recognize the importance of patience, and I am willing to wait for true love. Like, really tell yourself that. And now repeat uh, after me again, I have, I have peace of mind during my search for the right partner. I have peace of mind during my search for the right partner. I am optimistic about the future and I look forward to meeting my soulmate sometime soon. Like really believing that. I am ready for a pos positive relationship. My personality is interesting and engaging enough so others are going to be attracted to me. And I have the confidence and self-respect to attract the one. Like really, really tell yourself that. And now repeat after me again. I know that the best match for me is out there. I, the only thing I need to do is to get out there and look. And again, I know that the best match is out there. The only thing that I have to do is to open my eyes, get out there, and look. And so I will attend social functions and welcome new people into my life. I will go on dates. I will do online dating. I will go to real love or stories, storytelling events. And I will tell my friends that I'm looking, and they will be able to keep an eye on the single guys or girls that they know. And now the last part that I want you to repeat after me is each relationship brings me closer to the ideal partner for me. Each relationship brings me closer to the ideal partner for me. So today I am ready to find my soulmate, but patient about finding the one that I know is right for me. And I am confident that my search will result in true love. I believe that you're going to find that true love. I cannot wait to hear your story about how you found your true love.
It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 60, you could be 70, you could be 40, 30, whatever age you are, you're going to find your soulmate. Like I say it again, this planet is filled with many beings and your soulmate is one of them. All you have to do is to look for them. But you have to do those four tips. You have to do those four tips I told you about. Be true to yourself. Identify your goals. Be firm with your values. And know your own needs. So now, here are some self-reflection questions I want you to keep in mind. You might want to even write them down if, if, and put them somewhere where you, you can read them and it will remind you. So how do I feel about finding my soulmate? Like really asking yourself that. Are you in a mental space where you're open to finding the soulmate? And number two, how do I increase my chances of success in finding the one who is just right for me? Like what are some of the things that you're doing? Sometimes we say we want to meet the one and we're sitting in our houses and we, we're not doing the necessary things to really expose yourself to potentially meeting that person because he's not going to just come knocking at your door, although sometimes that does happen. But in most cases, it will not happen. You have to increase your chances to finding the one. You know, attending events, like I said, telling your friends you're looking, um, and online dating and all these other things that you can do to meet people and potentially meet the one. And then the third question, self-reflection question, how can I recognize my soulmate once I find them? I mean, this is a big one. Like, how will you know this is the one when you find them? So when you have followed those four tips, I think it will very much help you to recognize your soulmate once you find them. So go ahead and do the exercise, follow the four tips, keep these self-reflection questions and also some of those that I was telling you to repeat after me and just see, I mean, you have to believe and I believe and I am praying for you. I am sending you all kinds of good uber juba so that you meet your soulmate because at the end of the day, I want to hear your love stories. I want you to be in love. I want you to find the one that you've been looking all for, for all these years. I am so excited for you. I cannot wait to hear your love story. So go out there, shine, put on your best smile, your best look, whatever that looks like, and go and find your soulmate. Can't wait to hear your stories. Thank you so much. I am genuinely so happy that you made it to the end of this episode. Thank you so much. And please tell people, let people know that you are subscribed to this podcast. Show your love and support by sharing this episode on your social media platforms to your friends so that more and more people can listen to these stories so that you can help me reach my downloads that I this goal that I have to to quadruple the numbers for last year and let me know what difference these episodes are making in your life you can tag me you can tag the podcast and thank you again I cannot wait to share the next episode with you